Hey everyone, Mark here. Um, just a quick message, I'm in a different place today. Normally I'm uh, uh, at my desk and uh, thinking about things there, but occasionally I like to come out to um, cemeteries. I know that might seem a little morbid, but um, I find them great places to reflect and um, to consider things. Um, and I find them really peaceful places as well. Saying that though, this is right next to a major road, this particular uh, church I'm at. This church where I'm at the moment is uh, it's Christ Church um, in Easter. It's an Anglican Church of England church so I, I don't go here and I never would uh, for obvious reasons um, but still it's it's a cemetery I've been to a number of cemeteries around the the province where I live and um, I just find them interesting places to go and to think about things and uh, you know the overriding question that always uh, comes to my mind whenever I walk around these places is just the the tragedy of it all and when I say that, I don't mean like the, the death and, um, you know, what happened to their life or whether they were, you know, a young person or, or however they perished. Actually, what I talk about when I say that, when I say tragedy, is whether they were saved or not. That's the real question after all, is it not? And, you know, I can't help but think often when I walk around these places, especially the more modern cemeteries with the, you know, modernist type messages on them, I'm just convinced that a lot of them aren't saved. I mean, I don't know that, of course. I've no idea. I mean, everyone here could be saved, as far as I, as far as I know, and even at the modern cemeteries. But my feeling is most of them aren't. Um, just from the way that uh, you know the, the sort of tombstone is written, but also because a great deal of people aren't saved. Full stop. Especially in today's times. Um, you know, I don't want to be too judgmental on that because I don't know. As I said, everyone here could be saved. My gut feeling is probably not. And actually, it's really not whether they are or not that's the question. It's whether you're saved or not, or whether you know someone who's saved or not. You know, because we get put in this grave here, and that's not where it finishes. You don't just go into the grave and you rest forever and everything's wonderful. It's not how it works. You know, you're either saved or you're not. And if you're not saved, you go to hell. That's it. Fact. It doesn't matter how good you are, what good works you've done, nothing. Nothing. If you're not saved, that's where you're going. So you can be put in this ground, and actually before your body even hits the ground, you'll be burning in hell. And that's the real problem. That's the real problem. So, you know, to be saved is a, of, of, of total importance. There's nothing wrong with, um, you know, having a tombstone or, you know, being buried somewhere and having something memorable done. I mean, if you want to do that, that's up to you. Um, I think if it was me and I had the opportunity to do it on my gravestone, I'd have a message about salvation. I wouldn't have a you know, I'll see you again or in a better place or any of this rubbish. You know, I'd have a message about salvation so that if someone walked past my cross in 10, 20 years time, um, that they would know what to do and that they would get saved. You know, I would take that opportunity from beyond the grave, even though I'm up in heaven and enjoying it there. That's what, I, that's what I'd want to do. I'd want to still be soul winning, you know, even from that position. So, you know, some of these um, crosses and places and, and these tombs and crypts and everything here and there's some pretty amazing ones here actually I've just walked past a few that are, are huge and um, you know but again I can tell that they're celebrating the grandeur of the person not of Christ or salvation you know it's the right honourable so and so and uh, it's a really impressive grave and uh, big huge thing with posters it's like a four poster bed this, this guy's crypt is and uh, you know, I have doubts whether that man is saved. You know, to, to spend thousands of thousands of pounds back then as well. This was uh, 1900 something or other, I think. You know, he could have done so much more with that money. You know, why why build this huge, great big crypt if you're just going to use it to praise yourself? You know, he's got, um, it's, it's over there somewhere. He's got um, like a stone carving of himself and I assume his wife and it's huge, huge thing. And um, it must have cost a fortune to do it. And there's no message of praise there to God or, or Jesus Christ. There's no message of salvation. And uh, it makes you wonder, you know, whether he was really saved or whether it was just, you know, it's a church. I just want to be buried and, and hey, look at me. And uh, that's what I mean when I say walking around places like this. Often, you know, you call into question whether people were really saved. Again, I don't know. I have no idea. He could have been a devout Christian, saved um, and did much good for, for the Christian um you know the, uh, the body of Christ he could have done a great deal of work for it my gut feeling is he didn't and my gut feeling walking around places like this is that the majority of people aren't obviously I pray and hope that I'm badly wrong but again you know I think we should take the opportunity here to to think about these things and I, I recommend that anybody 
um, should just take a walk around one of these places. I like to do it. I mean, the, the, the sort of old churches and cemeteries and whatnot around here are, are just, they're great places to go because, as I said, they cause you to reflect and, and think about uh, life and also your salvation. That's what they do. So coming here, it's a fresh, crisp day. It's nice to get out for a walk and, and just enjoy things. But I find coming to places like this far more fulfilling than, I don't know, going to somewhere like Starbucks or you know some ridiculous place like that i find this place really causes you to reflect on on the word your life salvation all the important things and i go around these places and i, I look at the, the the headstones and i read the messages and i just you know i just pray that these people were saved all of them you know i don't think that's the case but i really pray that that is the case i pray that i'm wrong on that assumption i really do so i just wanted to share this this short video with you and just encourage you you know if you have a cemetery or a church near you it doesn't matter if it's church of england or whatever it is you know it's really um to get you thinking about these things so i come here i've got nothing to do with the church of england i never will but you know i just find this an interesting place a peaceful place and uh a place for reflection and meditation and um, you know I just uh, want to pass that message on to you guys today so um, I had it on my heart to come here and just walk around I'd seen I drove past here a few days ago I thought really should just come here have a look around and, and just think about things and uh, thought about posting a video about it as well so here it is so you know I pray and hope that um, you know that you guys do think about that and if you are saved great if you're not really you know it should be a priority for all of us to to help save our family, our friends, our co-workers and everybody out there because uh, as I said this is not the final resting place, it's just where your body goes, just where you lay down your physical body, that's it, that's all it does, that's all it does, before you even hit the ground you know you're being judged, you know, do you want to go to hell, do you want to burn in hell or do you want to you know enjoy life in paradise forever, you know and um, you know it's food for thought, it really is, it gets you thinking. And it gets you energised for, for soul winning, for sharing and for saving people. So I recommend it to all of you. So anyway, thanks for watching. Much appreciated. Take care.